Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Dear family, we gather once again this morning to worship our God. And to prepare for this Mass, let us call to mind our sins. If you were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received. With all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one Spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. The word of the Lord. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, Lord this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Who can ascend to the mountain of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is in vain. Lord. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. be with you. With your spirit. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the crowds, when you see a cloud rising in the west, you say immediately that it's going to rain, and so it does. And when you notice that the wind is blowing from the south, you say that it's going to be hot, and so it is. You hypocrites. You know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky. Why do you not know how to interpret the present time? Why do you not judge for yourselves what is right? If you are to go with your opponent before a magistrate, make an effort to settle the matter on the way. Otherwise, your opponent will turn you over to the judge, and the judge hand you over to the constable, and the constable throw you into prison. I say to you, you will not be released until you've paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. There are two different laws that are at work within us. There's the law of God, which we adhere to with our will, and we say, this is what I believe, and this is what I want to do. What is right? What is just? But also, the law of sin is at work within our bodies. This is the weakness and the little mystery that we have certainly all experienced. That is, I do not always do what I will to do. I want to do what is good. I want to do what is right. Then I fall. I do the evil that I do not intend to do. When we look at that, we see the battle within us. The flesh and the spirit are at odds with one another. The spirit wars against the flesh and the flesh against the spirit. The Lord talks about this a bit in the gospel reading today. He tells us that if we see the clouds rising in the west, we can say that there's rain coming. If we see that there is wind blowing from the south, we say it's going to be hot. We need to learn to do the exact same thing with those various passions that arise within the body. Be able to say, if I feel those passions beginning to grow, I need to recognize them. We have certainly felt them for enough years to be able to know what's going to happen if we allow the passion to run. We know where we're going to get into trouble. We know our own weaknesses. Whatever the particular weakness is that each one of us deals with, we know where that weakness is. And we know it begins with just a little hint of what the problem might be. The tiny little, tiny temptation that gets thrown in there. We start to follow that, little by little, and it starts to grow. Now we could blame it on the weakness of the flesh and say, see, I have no power over this. But if we would catch it right at the very beginning, we can cut that off. We can begin to pray. We can begin to get ourselves involved in some other activity so to be able to ride this thing out. And that's the point the Lord is making for us. First of all, he's, he's talking about being able to interpret the signs of the times, to look around and see in general what's going on. We need to do that within ourselves. We can interpret the external things. Why do we have so much trouble interpreting what goes on in the body? And we truly will do what is right and what is just. And part of that is to watch what goes on within and to catch even the very beginning movements of any kind of illicit passion and to cut it off immediately, not to entertain it. That's where we get ourselves into trouble. The devil will say, just a little bit's not going to hurt you. I mean, after all, just do something that's not mortally sinful. A little pleasure is a good thing. And then we know that because it's the area of weakness, <coughs> if, if we give it even just a tiny little bit, then we've lost control of it. 
it's off to the races. So while it's not a problem that one might have a little bit of enjoyment, when it's something that we know is our area of weakness, and we know it's going to lead us right into sin, a little bit is not good. We need to cut it off immediately, nip it in the bud. And so if we can interpret the external signs, the large signs in the world, we need to learn to interpret the little things that go on within ourselves. Watch for those beginning moments of passion. Watch for the way that sin begins within our lives. Learn the pattern and cut it off immediately. Then we'll be cooperating with the law of God, the law of justice, as it work within our will. And in that way, we'll be able to do the good that we truly desire. Frosten in God, the Father of all, we offer our prayers this day. For the Pilgrim Church on earth, that through the power and grace of the Holy Spirit, we may grow in strength and unity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our national and local leaders, may God grant them compassion and insight in showing special care for the most vulnerable in our society, especially the unborn. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who feel defeated in whatever their daily battles are, and for all in need of any kind of healing, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those of us gathered here, may the Lord continue to help us grow in faith, hope, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who seek service in government will uphold the dignity of all human life from conception to natural death as well as work to end poverty in all divisions among us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have gone before us in faith, especially Teresa But Butrago, may they rejoice forever beholding God face to face. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, please hear and answer our prayers this day according to your holy will. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruits of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice <clears throat> at your hands, to the praise and glory of his name. 
our good Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts that through the purifying action of your grace we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed <clears throat> praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. <laughs> O Lord, the font of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Philippe, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our oh, Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, Grant us peace. For their family, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter unto my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Son of man has come to give his life as a ransom for his many
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.